hello guys welcome back to my channel we are currently in dubai we're on a proper vacation we've been here already for what three four days and we still have another like four days here five days here <laughs> we're very happy to be here yeah the and weather is a much needed trip for us i think the last like real vacation that we had was last time we were here in dubai it's been almost over a year yeah we did do a bit of traveling in the summer but it was like really quick no and it wait takes people have time been, people have been to... saying but you have been in ibiza yeah listen to clarify that this was not a trip and, and vacation this was more stress than anything else because you had like a group of people that you had to manage i could not yeah. just lay down and chill and also when we went on our honeymoon to capri that was beautiful we had so much fun but it was also like three days in oh. capri and then three days in positano yeah. and it was also a new place so you feel like you want to go and see everything do everything and just like squeeze the lemon and we didn't have much time like downtime to really relax and switch off and do yeah. nothing and that's i think a reason why we like to come here even though we've been here before it's not too far from where we live the weather's great and we can actually like really relax here yeah. so this is my outfit this morning i love this dress it is from asos it's just a nice lightweight cotton white kind of baby doll dress and then i've got um little teaks flip-flops on and a little misoma anklet and then this is a bag that actually my friend got me but i don't know the brand um it's like a local french company very cute Okay, I've gotten some scrambled eggs with mixed vegetables, an avocado toast, a mint tea. I also had some fruit, a chia pudding. Okay, quick change and now we are heading to the beach. Hello guys, it is now a little bit later. We are in a car. We actually rented a car for two days because there were a few things that we wanted to do kind of around the city. And it's just nice to be mobile and be able to get around when you need to. So today is our last day with the car. So now we're gonna head to the Dubai Mall. We've got reservations for dinner at a place called Erla. And it's just next to the Dubai Mall. And we have a few things that we wanna do in the Dubai Mall. I'm wearing this really pretty dress from ASOS. I love it the print the color and just like how it fits it's so nice and it just feels so comfortable my necklaces are from misoma these are from monica vinader my bracelets are monica vinader and misoma as well and also i've got a new watch so in my last video i also mentioned that i started wearing the fitbit because i was tracking my steps and mo actually got me the apple watch which was really nice it was a total surprise i was actually really happy with my Fitbit and I would still highly recommend it because it's a little bit slimmer and like it's just as functional and just as great if your goal is to track your steps which it was for me but the Apple watch is more of like a lifestyle kind of watch too it really does look like a watch so it's a nice like accessory as well it is very pretty and I like the fact that you can customize the bracelets and this bracelet is just from Amazon I know it looks kind of fancy and I like that like it goes with my jewelry and with my ring because it's a multi-toned or like a duo toned 
bracelet so you've got the silver and the gold but yeah it's cute I really like it and I can still track my steps which is the most important thing like why I even wear it in the first place speaking of it's been so easy to get in my steps here I don't know what it is but I guess getting you know to and from your room walking to restaurants and I've been doing my beach walks as well which has been so so nice i appreciate those so much like from walking in the cold winter for the last few months when it's like freezing and i have to wear like a bundled up jacket and it's you know really gray outside like oh, just walking by the beach and by the water is just so so nice so i've been doing that and that is like a 45 minute walk like from start to finish and then just like walking around the hotel so that's my little update with my watch. I know a few of you guys were asking about it on Instagram. water is like nice and calm and it's just so so pretty so yeah we've already had breakfast and we are going to relax here by the beach for like a couple of hours i'm gonna do my walk in a little bit as well by the water which has been so nice it's just like the best like i couldn't imagine having a walk <laughs> right now in any better place like in the sun on the warm sand with the water hearing the waves it's just so so nice and i hope that you guys feel like all the the good vacation vibes through this video and feel like you're kind of on vacation as well when you're watching this that is the goal so yeah that is the plan for right now and we'll see what we get up to a little bit later we don't have any like fixed plans and we're also giving the car back today so I think we're gonna chill around the resort which is like my favorite thing to do anyway um, especially when we're away and stuff so yeah that's probably what we're gonna do and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later restaurants in the Middle East so best Italian it was delicious it was delicious 
delicious. So delicious. Yeah. And the, like, the whole setting of the restaurant was really nice too. So guys, this is actually something very traditional in the Arabic countries. The person who ruled the country, they always, you find them everywhere. In every restaurant you will find pictures, in every hotel. But yeah, that's who ruled. They rule the country. I'm about to head down to the beach. I wanted to show you this gorgeous kaftan. I've actually had this for a few years. It's from Revolve and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite pieces to wear on vacation. And then I've got on this blue little bikini underneath. This is from Oisho. I got this before we went to Capri. Looks like this. Like a cute baby blue color yeah I just love this piece I'm gonna see if I can find it um, I did get it a few years ago I really love our mornings here they have been so nice and chill I'll have my water out on the balcony overlooking the view of the beach and the other um, hotels here at this resort and it's so nice that it's been warm when we wake up so yeah like I go out on the balcony I feel the Sun on my face I'll go to the bathroom get myself ready and then we head down to breakfast then we'll come back to the room change into our swimsuit or get anything that we need and then head down to the beach and we've just been relaxing there for hours like every single day but yeah one of the things that I swear by whenever we're away is to make sure that I'm staying really hydrated especially in the mornings because I actually used to suffer a lot with being bloated with not being able to go to the bathroom and that is the worst feeling ever especially when you're on vacation and you guys know I've talked about this before but I think it's so important to wake up and to hydrate yourself obviously I don't have like my warm water with lemon when we're away but just having a regular water is just as good it's really good for just waking your body up but also for getting your digestive system moving and that triggers your body to want to eliminate which is so important I know it's not like the sexiest or the most fun topic to talk about but it's so important like just as we eat food and it's so important to nourish our body and eat in a good environment it's the same thing for when we go to the bathroom actually getting everything out I also always make sure that I have my knees propped up I've talked about this before too so I just I tend to like find like a dustbin or anything like that just so that my knees are elevated because that also helps with the flow of the elimination yeah I make sure that I still do that every single morning on vacation so that I'm not bloated and just in general staying hydrated is really important for your digestive system I also love to indulge in like in the morning I love like croissants and pancakes and things like that alongside my normal breakfast it's just fun to eat those kinds of things for dinners we love our desserts and our little treats and things like that but i always make sure to balance it out with really fiber rich foods like fruits vegetables things that are rich in vitamins and minerals so that you have that good balance and those fiber rich foods also act like a broom in your digestive system and just helps to keep everything moving along so that's really important and then of course movement is so good for your gut health as well like walking pilates you know if you want to go to the gym or go out and go dancing or whatever it is that you like to do but just making sure that it's something that is consistent so for me it's been walking and I love that it also really helps with your digestive system and then another thing that I swear by which is so easy to implement into your routine is to take a high quality probiotic my favorite is the one by seed you guys know I love this one and I love that it comes in this little travel 
vial container as well so you can take this really easily when you're away and the reason i love this so much is because it's actually very potent and very effective the bacteria are guaranteed to make it all the way down to your gut and that is a huge thing because most bacteria are actually just burned up by your stomach acids and bile salts they don't actually make it all the way down to your colon where they need to go but this has a two-in-one via cap technology so it protects the bacteria which makes this so much more effective than other probiotics it's not only great for your gut health but it's also amazing for your immune system because most of our immune system is located within our gut it's also great for skin health for your brain health your heart health it has so many systematic benefits and it's just such an easy thing to implement into your routine especially when you're away i just take one of these every morning on an empty stomach so after i've gone to the bathroom before we have breakfast and i love it it's so easy it's so simple if you guys have not tried this out yet i would highly recommend it they are currently offering all my viewers 15 percent off you just have to use the code anyj15 at checkout and that will get you 15 percent off your first order Oh, just got a paddle boat I don't know if you can see him but he's right there <laughs> these things are actually really difficult to stand up on we did it together once there he goes Mo's back. He's checking his heart rate with my watch. It's so exhausting. It's, it's a workout, right? I'm back. And I have to say, this workout was more workout <laughs> than any gym. I was telling my him to, tomorrow he's going to be sore. He's hurting me. Yeah. And the thing is, to even like to balance your body is so difficult already. But with the waves out there, I mean, there's so many waves. Like try to get the waves, you know, and then be on the waves. It's even worse, and like the strength, like the, the the inner, how do you say, inner muscles, like yeah, like your core muscles. These gonna be killing me tomorrow, but good. Was it fun? It was lots of fun, and by the way, guys, to tell you, I'm very anxious of water. Like I love to be on the water, but I don't, I don't feel comfortable being very far out, and I just challenged myself. I went to the floaters I could. And I did it. I was getting a lot of small anxieties. <laughs> oh, really good. Those jeans are too tight. These jeans are fear of God. And I don't know why, but these jeans... They're is, like I think super the best quality. skinny. Oh. The best don't do quality, too hard. The best quality I've ever gotten. But it's... The jeans is so... Um, They're skin, like super skinny. Yeah. Especially after they've been washed. Okay, it's now a little bit later. We are going to head out to dinner. This is my dress tonight. I really love this. It is from H&M. Super pretty, comfortable. I love the frills and the flower print and of course the color is so, so gorgeous. I love it too. Cute. Thank you. But I need something on my shoulders, I think, because it gets a little chilly here at night. So probably going to take... Um, my white cardigan. Okay, these are some vegetables 
This is eggplant in a miso sauce. We've got some spicy edamame and more food on the way. Okay, so we've got some rice. This is, what is it, shrimp and coriander fried rice. Yeah. This is the black cod, some mushrooms, and this is chicken. And we've also got some sushi coming. And the sushi. Yummy. And of course, we have to get some dessert. So we got some mochis. This is vanilla, green tea, and hazelnut. And then this is one of their specialities. It's like a, a red fruit shortbread with vanilla ice cream. Let's try. No idea what this is. It is a new day and I'm just about to apply my sunscreen for the day and I thought I would just show you the two that I've really been loving. This is from Juice Beauty. It's their stem cellular CC cream. So this is like a moisturizer, SPF, and skin tint all in one. So it has a little bit of color to it, but not so much. Like it's not a full-on foundation, but it does give your skin a little bit of a tint. And then this one is so nice. It's a little bit thinner than this one. Both of them are physical SPFs, which I think is very important, especially if you have more sensitive skin, acne prone skin. And this one is really nice. It's from Murad. It's the City Skin SPF 50. This is not tinted, but it does not leave a white cast. It has like a slight kind of golden finish to it to cancel out the white cast from the physical SPF because that's usually an issue with most physical SPFs but I really like this one so this is the one that I'm going to apply today. So the Murad one has been my favorite the last few days but when we first arrived I really liked the Juice Beauty one because it does have like a little bit of a tint kind of just gives you a sun-kissed glow but I feel like now I have that just naturally so I'm going to apply this one. And then I take a little bit more and I put this on my neck and down on my chest. And then I just curl my lashes. I love curling my lashes. It just really opens up the eyes and makes you look like fresh and bright. And it's no like extra makeup on your face. So I really like that. And that's it. That's my... My beach look <laughs> sometimes i'll do some concealer and a little bit of loose setting powder just in my t-zone and maybe fix up just the shape of my brows just a little bit but that's only if i know that we're really going to be taking pictures and things like that but today i won't be doing that so that is my beach look and i'm ready for the day so it is our last full day here in dubai which is so crazy i feel like it's gone by so fast um, but yeah, today's just gonna be a nice chill day. We don't have any like big plans to do anything. It's a little bit windy today, a little bit cloudy. Yesterday it was really windy too, so we actually went to the Dubai Mall and walked around there and just had like a more indoor kind of day. But today we're kind of determined to soak up the last bits of sunshine that we're gonna see for a while. 